with Carolina's rural hospitals hoping for help to pay for the manpower to administer COVID-19 tests and vaccines. But that need from some of our poorest counties falls short in relief. Amended is passed. It was hope that the latest federal stimulus bill would provide reimbursement for the hours that rural hospitals have spent not on the floor of the sick, but testing for the coronavirus and giving out vaccines. There are some good things in there for our rural communities. Uh, so the better unemployment for our, our patients, extended COBRA benefits for those who may have lost their job under the pandemic. Uh, so those are good, but again, no direct funding for hospitals, which is disappointing. What has helped, minus an influx of funding, is the North Carolina National Guard. They, along with volunteers, have kept cash-strapped rural hospitals from spending money they don't have as they've worked side-by-side -side with staff. The lack of direct funding could be even more critical down the line. If we do have a fourth wave um, of those who have not been vaccinated, uh, I do worry about that because that will that will be layered on top of our current population, our vaccine efforts, and then that fourth wave. The North Carolina Healthcare Association says it will continue to seek funding as rural hospitals were already operating on a shoestring budget before COVID. And not just for immediate COVID relief, but for the future of, of patient care. You know, we've got a lot of lessons learned as we've dealt with this pandemic, and we're asking our members of Congress to make it better for our patients going forward. Certainly want to be prepared financially as much as they can if this happens again. They'll also look to the state, Angela, for any mm. possible relief as well. Yeah, 